Hey everybody, welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we're gonna be talking about photogrammetry and how you can use nothing more than just a simple digital camera and some software to create some really, really nice 3D models. Uh, my name is Eugene Lisho, I'm a 3D forensic analyst and I've been using photogrammetry for years now. Uh, I've been teaching it, I've been using it in my casework and I really believe that photogrammetry is an amazing technology because it allows you to do so much with very, very little. So uh, the ISO has to do with the sensitivity of your sensor uh, to light. So if you're in a very dark environment, if you increase the ISO up to a very high number, um, you can shoot in very, very low light scenarios and um, you know still gather pretty good images. However, if you have good lighting, there's no reason to shoot at a high ISO number. In fact, you wanna turn it down as low as possible. Now, these two images here don't look very different from one another, okay? So the one on the left and the one on the right uh, look like they're taken from a tripod and, um, you know, they look pretty much the same. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a couple of images and we're gonna get in really, really close. So let me drag these, uh, well, here, you got them, you should have them up on the screen here. So you're seeing them, uh, let me go like this. So this image here on the left, this has a low, F, uh, a low ISO number, excuse me. So this is about ISO 100, and this image on the right has an ISO of about 6400. Now, right off the bat, you can tell that these uh, pixels here don't look as grainy, okay? They don't look as noisy as the ones on the right. And if you've got a lot of noise or a different, you know, this graininess or whatever, again, when the photogrammetry software is trying to match one pixel uh, versus the other, well, it's gonna run into a problem. And that is that it's gonna look for a nice crisp pixel in one image and then it goes to the next image and it finds a bunch of noise. So uh, you have to be very wary of the ISO number. Um, what I would say, uh, if you have good lighting, start with a low ISO number first. That'll get you the best, best image. If you can use a tripod, that's also really, really helpful. And then, um, you know, use a, a long shutter speed, a high f-stop number. Your image is going to start really, really dark, but work down from there. So don't just go and use, I know it's so easy to grab the camera and click the automatic button and, and take your photos. And sometimes it's good enough. I, 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 uh, I, I can't, I'm guilty of that too. But when you really need to get into uh, a high quality model and really, uh, you know, you really want to pay, pay attention to the details, you have to consider those, um, these three things on your camera. Okay, so uh, start with a low ISO number, high f number high f stop number and also start with a little bit higher um, shutter speed uh, use a tripod and then work down from there if you can